Hey guys, a situation whereby a guy goes to the brothel home and finally looks at a particular lady and says, okay, I've got my money and I want you because I really, I really, really like right now. I need to release that kanji. You know, that kanji, that kanji when he just holds him. Okay, now this is not trying to be funny. Here in diaspora, a lot of guys, like lot of guys, lot of them face so many challenges. Now in that brothel home, he has his money, but he cannot even get the prostitute because of color differences. Some will just look at a different color and say, I don't want to imagine myself being on this guy. Now that is not trying to say or explain that she is being racist but it's just what they want and of course they've got the, the the right everyone has got the right to i mean this is deep it's as if you're accepting a man it, he goes into your butt like so it goes a long way and everyone has got that choice to make what you want and what you do not want now these goes are especially single guys hmm the ordeal is big, like it's really big because in your home country, you have the opportunity of calling on your younger one, you know, on any of your siblings to just come stay with you to help you out. And now this, your sibling will not only if be um, effective in the public kitchen, you know, seeing to the food that you eat and stuff like that. But also when the need arises, this kind of need can arise from any angle. It could be an accident on the way. It could be, it could be that she slept and had a heart attack. You know, you know, it's not your portion, but you know, just samples like that, examples like that. And then there is need. It could be that, you know, someone just falls low and then Sometimes some people say, I have no appetite to eat. I just don't feel this way. But then there's someone in the house who could say, oh, brother, no, oh, sister, no, you know, you need to, okay, I've cooked, look at that. This is actually your favorite. You know, after a little talking and dabbing and all and encouragement, you see yourself coming out. Why is my face being dark? I don't like this. Face. Okay, now the light is back. So you see yourself um, being encouraged to eat, to to get up, you know, but whereby you are alone, oh my gosh, it's not good at all. It's not good at all. It's good to have someone whereby you come back to the house. You can even rub minds together. You know, how was your day? That, that inner interaction from within, it goes a long way. You know, the, the feeling that you're not lonely here, you know, the whole quietness. I mean, sometimes it could be so, so much especially for those who are lonely. And now I'm back to the single guys abroad. The one major thing that they face is finding, um, finding, would I say sex partner? Especially to the refugees who haven't really got their stay and all of those. Because if you are out to get a woman in that condition, many are aware that she, obviously, the first thing that comes to mind is that you need your paper. You know, any other thing, perhaps the love prophecies and all and all and all. It could come with time. But the first thing that comes, okay, he doesn't have a stay. So obviously he needs that from me. And most ladies would not want to do that. Especially just those who are really just elderly or hard. And you see, they're just coming to help. They're not coming for you or whatever you have to say. They'll just want to help, which... A very, very, very tiny a number, a very few number of people would do that. So you find lots of guys being single. Now, what do they do? Most of them marry at home in their homeland, you know, and the wife is there. They go home once a year. And that's not a problem because it was done with an agreement whereby it is so. You know, the woman is having her kids there and just having the whole stress of parenting to herself. And then the man is here being lonely and just having to call, you know, just recharge his phone and call, call and call. But that's not enough, you know. Now, I don't want to deviate from the main topic. Now, this is the one I want to point out. Do you know that lots of guys abroad in diaspora haven't seen women for even more than 10 years. This is also applicable to indigents. There's some guys 
it's their home country, but they just find it difficult settling with a woman. A friendship starts, and before you know it, it goes back to zero. It's like, it's just not working out, you know? And so you find them just being single for a very, very, very long time. Now, what am I talking about? This is not a good one, but I would like to know, what do you think are solutions to this kind of problem, you know, being single and it's not like you don't want a woman. You're making, you're making, you're making attempts. You're doing what you should do. You're connecting, but it's just not clicking. And whether it's not clicking, you know, you can force it. It's a relationship. It goes beyond the outward. It goes beyond the conversation. It goes lots and lots and lots. And getting to know this person is the genesis of the whole thing. Whether you meet someone that you've gotten to really to know, but you're finding out that, mm -mm, I don't want to be with this kind of person. What do you do? It's what you want. The other person might be willing. Oh, he's my everything. But unfortunately, you know, she's not his everything. And because of so many things, he says, okay, let's just, let me just be as I am. And at the end of the day, years, years, years gone by. Some of them cannot even travel home, you know, and so they are just stuck where they are. And they dare not leave because if they go home and then... It spells it out. That's it. That's it. They can't come back again. So they just stay that way. They just stay that way. They Some of them are not even able to get that wife at home. Some of them are able to do that. They got wife at home through family meetings and all. And the woman just stays with our kids. But once again, um, it's not the message. It's not really being thrown at the effort of um, getting a wife or the relationship between the person, the woman they left at home and the kids, and they being here. The main topic is that they stay single here and they conchi, they hold the guys. Like, why are you wondering what is conchi, they hold the guys? They cannot flush out these spam cells. And after a while, because of age, it, it just can pose health issues health problems and so you see them going to the brothels now the most amazing thing or what you say what you can't even help there is that they can get to the brother home and meeting some girls who are perhaps color difference you know because of color differences in their color the lady said i don't want him you know and so he has his money but he cannot even get a prostitute to be with he cannot get her because of skin color. And so with his money, he goes back home. Now, of course, we know this is automatically going to result to different things. Some looking at pornographical um, videos to help them come or let it out. And then some trying to just do themselves, you know, things like that. But what is the best way out? Like, let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is an interesting topic. Like... There's so many things to talk about in this aspect, but you know, I do not have all the time today, but I'm going to revisit this topic because it's really, really interesting. And I've seen such guys, you know, who, um, they lay some, they just talk about when they talk sometimes, you know, you, you, you hear them, you see them most times out there. You see this man is without a family. This man is single. He's just there you know, and things like that. And sometimes they tell their ordeal. So if you happen to be in that class of guy who for a long time, you really have not congeed, you know, you really have not met, you know, a woman, basically, leave me your comments in the comment section below. How is the ordeal for you single guys? It's actually not easy with their money in your pocket. Haven't tried or walked down to that brutal home yet they are rejected and of course some actually go and it works out you know then they settle for every week 20 euro to the brutal's home and get a lady and just um you know or the one who accepts them and sometimes they do not want the one who came but because that's the only one who accepted them you see the ordeals then they have to just go away life abroad now i know that to compare that to their homeland, it would have been different, you know, because this is your homeland. This is where you know people from 
Oh, Connor, of course, the difference will be so much more there. You will have the opportunity of settling down because you can, it's where you grew up, you know? So it's actually where you grew up and you, you've, you've made contact. You've, it's your, it's your environment, but in a different environment, the, the situation is really, really different because it's now for those ones who are having a family at home and they couldn't bring them not because they don't want to live together with their family of course every couple want to stay together you know but there are hindrances and these are dependent on the capacity of the man financially and his resident permit you know has he gotten his stay you know can he can he does he have his resident permit? Has he gotten his stay here in the, the foreign land where he is? So if he has gotten it and then his financial status is good, he'll be granted the request of bringing over his wife and possibly kids, of course, if they already have one. So that's the thing. Leave me a comment. It's a beautiful topic. Tell me the challenges the single guys face in diaspora. It's enormous, guys. It's enormous because they just eat out. You know, most times they just eat out. They are, they just tend to remain on the way because our home, you know, like, so to speak, home is empty. You know, you, you, they just go home to sleep. You know, that bachelor lifestyle from beginning or from old. So it's, it's always there and it's a challenge. They do not want it. They complain about it. But what do you think can be done in this whole situation? Leave me your comments. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Like, like by giving us the thumbs up and then share the video. Um, encourage someone that there are things that can be done and Leave us your comments contributing to these things that can be done. We'll be discussing that in the next video, hopefully. <laughs> Either the sinners or the later one. All right, do have a peaceful day and in comfort, be blessed and keep raining because you are a champion. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Bye.